Bejala, a town in the occupied Palestinian territories on a regular day. Eighteen thousand inhabitants live in the town on the border to Jerusalem, Christians and Muslims. Some of them have special permits to pass the checkpoint to Jerusalem. Very early in the morning, they have to pass through the barrier to reach their workplace on time. But most of them work in Bejala. At 6 a.m., the town slowly starts to move. Arja Textiles, one of the biggest textile companies in the West Bank, has over 70 employees. Designer Tamara Al-Arja has taken over the management of the family business from her father. It's a family business and it's a family affair. The people who worked here still work here for years. They never leave because they like it here so much. It's such a great family atmosphere, that's all I must say. We do everything under one roof, so you have that flexibility of choosing color, fabric type, and whatever cut you want till it's perfectly ready for you to take home. Mohamed Faraja is the deputy manager of a hotel. Every morning he comes from the refugee camp Dahisha on the outskirts of Bejala to the old part of town, to the Abrams guest house. The hotel belongs to the Evangelical Lutheran Church. The idea of Abraham's Heberge is to let the three religions to come together, Muslims and the Christians and Jewish, and to, uh, to build the bridges between all together. And I am, as a Muslim, I work here, and this is a sign that there is no problem between Muslims and the Christians in Bejala. Muhammad takes care of everything here. It is important for him that the visitors feel comfortable. Today, he expects a new group of tourists and helps his colleague Samaha. He reviews the program of the tourists with the managing director, Naim Walim. When Mohammed began here 20 years ago, he was the first Muslim secretary of a Protestant pastor in the West Bank. The people here in the, in the, in the city in Bejala, not just in the city in Bejala, even in Dehesha, where I live in a refugee camp, and in Bethlehem, uh, the people was really uh, shocked about that, but they accept the idea, and then they, say they make a joke, the Lutheran Muhammad. Kader Ayesh has been driving taxis in Bejala for 10 years. He knows everyone in the city. Bejala is considered one of the most beautiful places in the city. It's a nice job in it. It's also known that the people are friendly. 
هاديين جدا مش عصبية مع انه معروف عن المجتمع العربي انه نوعا ما عصبي بس اهل بيت جالا لا مش عصبية بالمرة فعشان هيك الناس بتحب تسكن عندهم One of the most beautiful buildings of Bejala is the house of the Christian family Sala. Rania Sala lives here with her husband and children in three rooms. The whole family is large and many of them emigrated to Chile. So today, about 600,000 Bejalis and their descendants live outside of Palestine. Rania also spent her youth in Chile. أنا سافرت كان عمري 14 سنة سافرت أنا وإمي وأخوي و... لأنه في كان عمتي جاي من تشيلي في هذيك الفترة وأقنعت أبوي إنه تشيلي أحسن وفيها شغل وفيها يعني عرب كتير ويعني منيحة للعيشة هناك But Rania and her parents yearned for their homeland and returned Rania has never had any regrets about that. Here, she founded her own family. Rania's husband, Jamal, works in the external service of a tool company, and the children go to university or school. Jamal! 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 Kader brings his niece Jara to the hospital in the morning. The blind girl has to undergo regular eye examinations. Jara has just returned from a song contest in Egypt. International singers have participated there. في واحد وثلاثين واحد وثلاثين دولة كلهم عربة لا في أجان في طليان وفي إسبان وفي ألمان كمان شو في خريج شغلات ممكن تسمعيني في أخرى أغنية في أغنية من غنيها هون إحنا في البلد مرات لي أحكي للعالم أحكي للعالم أحكي لها عن بيت كسر قنديلة أحكي للعالم أحكي له عن بيت كسر قنديلا عن فأس قتلت زنبقة وحريق Many of these songs tell of the fate of Palestine. Jara has won an international prize with a similar song. Back to Arja Textiles. It is now half past eight. Tamara has done the most important correspondence and arranged the first designs. Her company policy is not only to manufacture everything by themselves, but also to hire women. 70% of their employees are female. Unusual, because in the West Bank, only about 20% of women find salaried work. Tamara has inherited her grandmother's energy to run an entire company. My grandmother was a stay-at-home mom in the, 19, in, the, in the early 60s. And what she did to, gain, to make extra money, she was good at her sewing machine. So she started making clothes for the neighbors. And, and the, that thing grew and grew and grew and grew till she had two machines. Till she asked, till she, her neighbors started helping her. So the other neighbors helped. Then my grandfather was like, oh, this could be a business. So he started making fabrics and dyeing the fabrics. And this became a family business. Kader's one-man business is also ongoing. His customer has to reach his work. <laughs> بيشتغلوش في الليل بالمرة؟ لا لا 
Both know each other very well and Kader is driving him regularly. The customer works in the stone factory. Here, stones are cut for the famous house facades of the region. The construction industry is booming. And everything has to be coordinated with the city administration, the municipality of Bejala. Isa Juha is the city's project manager. The municipality here has a lot of duties, but mainly is the planning of the city, uh, giving licenses for buildings, uh, making new roads, uh, opening new roads, making, uh, let's say, uh, infrastructure uh, projects um, on different scales. Isa drives to the construction site. A new bypass road is being built here because the traffic is increasing more and more. Oh, by opening this road, it is like a bypass, so people no need for them to go to the intersection up. They just can go, come from here and go wherever they want to Bethlehem or to the south without stopping there. So in this, with this road, we make the traffic less at that intersection. Bejala becomes more dense. The last open spaces are being built on. Many Palestinian Israelis from Jerusalem build and buy houses here. Qatar regards this as ambivalent. On the one hand, new jobs are being created. On the other hand, the Palestinian Israelis have more money. فأصبح على ابن البلد مستحيل إنه يقدر يشتري شقة إذا فكر يشتري شقة بده أقلش عشرين سنة هو يشتغل عشان يقصد حقه فمستحيل. In the old city, time seems to stand still. The history of Bejala goes far back. The place was already inhabited in biblical times. Here, between Bethlehem and Jerusalem, Christian communities were formed very early. Throughout the centuries, the different imperial powers have shaped the place with their cultures. After the downfall of the Ottoman Empire, the British took over the mandate of the town. In this time, the post office was established. The Jala post office is the first post office in Palestine since 1917. From Britain time to Jordan time till the Israeli time, it was here uh, as a post office. Eleven o'clock. The baker already prepares the sweet pastries for the afternoon. Here, also Mohammed buys bread for the second breakfast with his colleagues. Samaha and Muna prepare it. With Mohammed, 
They talk about the curse of the day and what has to be done in the hotel. <laughs> Muhammad has to continue. He shows the hotel guests the adjacent church and tells them that this place has a special meaning for him. And how long have you been here? Uh, 28 years. Uh, so this is your home? Yes, it's like my real home. I was born in 1982 in the Haitian refugee camp. When I was born, my mother died in the same minute. My family, they blame me that I killed my mother. And then my grandmother, she take me to the boys' home in Bethlehem. In 1987, uh, I was playing in the street, and there was a group from USA, and there is a Jewish man was with the group. And then uh, Mark uh, from America, he says, I like to take care of this boy. And he find a, a boy's home in Bejala, where is now Abraham Zeberge, and I, I grew up there. While Mohammed grew up as a Muslim in a Protestant children's home, Rania comes from a Greek Orthodox family. Over half of the Bejalis are Christians. The majority of them are Greek Orthodox. The Greek Orthodox Church of the Virgin Mary was built in 1810, during the Ottoman period, and is the oldest church in Bejala. It is just before noon. A long-awaited delivery has finally arrived. Freshly harvested chickpeas. ايش في عندك شيء من المخرور من بيت جاله في انا من بيت جاله نجاص بعدي طب شو الفرق بينه وبين الثاني في دراك برضه وخوف في دراك هيك بدك تيجي حطه صغيره لانه ما فيش ميه خلونا كميه مي بسيطه جدا ونسبه المي الملوحه فيها كثير عاليه فوضع الزراعه صار قليل جدا كنا نزرع موز كنا نزرع حمضيات وخضار حاليا ما فيش لا موز ولا حمضيات نسبة خضار خفيفة جدا هيك هيك الوضع الموجود. Today most of the fruits have to be imported from Israel. This is difficult for the fruit merchant because he used to be a farmer himself. Due to the restrictions of water supply, he had to give up his agriculture. And Tamara also needs plenty of water for her manufacture, especially for the dyeing. Water is one of the main issues we have. It's not only that I face it, it's many Palestinians do, and especially people in Bejala. In the 90s, there was something called the Paris Agreement, and the Paris Agreement allows a certain amount of water to access the West Bank. However, we multiply it as people, but it's still the same amount, so it's very rare. My grandfather was very smart and he built a huge well under the factory to keep the water safe. So we can save it and we try to work as many days as possible, even if they cut it for a couple of days. Half past 12. Time for a break. All rest for lunch. All. Oh, so it's a bit. 
I'm so lucky that I'm able to see my grandmother every day. She's 82, and my grandfather, who's 87, and they're even so kind. They make me breakfast and lunch, sometimes a snack, and sometimes when I have a headache, they bring me tea. I love my grandparents. <laughs> I love them so much. Jara's examination brought good results. Carter picks up his knees from the hospital. They drive home for lunch. There, his extended family is waiting for him. Carter lives here with his wife, his three daughters, his nephews, his mother, and his three brothers. Two of his brothers have a severe disability. To take care of them is part of Carter's life. Rania needs one last ingredient for her family's favorite dish. Fresh wine leaves. Filled with rice and minced meat, they are part of the traditional mahshi meal. Her mother had already offered this to the many Arab migrants in Chile at that time. Both talk about their time in Chile and whether Rania's children should emigrate there. Connections to other countries are important. Since 2011, Bejala has been maintaining a twinning with the German city of Bergisch Gladbach. Soon, the Bir Ona Square is to be renamed Bergisch Gladbach Square. <laughs> Isa coordinates the inauguration of the square with an employee. Here we are at the proposed or the Bergish Gladbach Square in Bejala. This square has a long history. Here at the well, Mary Joseph and the newborn Jesus are said to have drunk water. It is historically proven that this was the main well of Bejala. An olive tree, reminiscent of more recent times, was planted next to the spring. This olive tree was saved from the path of the separation wall, which was built on the land of Bejala. We saved it from that place and we brought it and planted it here to show that we are connected to our roots. You can see the wall, the separation wall. You can see the settlements, the Israeli settlements on the land of Beit Jala. You can see the bridge and the tunnel, the highway, which was created on the land of Beit Jala and which is forbidden for, to, to Palestinians to use. Since 1967, Beit Jala has lost about 60% of its urban and rural area through the construction of a settlement road the construction of three Israeli settlements and the expansion of the Jerusalem metropolitan area. Four o'clock. Tamara has a new customer. He founded the initiative Freedom Wear and wants to support the Palestinian economy because this is strongly limited by the occupation. We can't expand more as a, as a company unless we 
uh, try to import and ex uh, try to import export. This is very difficult for us because we don't own our own borders and Israel controls everything, and that makes it a little bit a little bit harder for us to export and import. The difficulties in importing and exporting also affect Kader. Today, he has to take his taxi for inspection. His car soon needs a replacement part. Shift change. Mohammed is off work. Samaha can also leave soon. Kader brings Mohammed home to the refugee camp only a few kilometers away. The refugee camp Daheisha has existed since 1948 and is organized by the UN Refugee Agency. It has changed a lot since then. Today, here are houses instead of tents. People share the same experiences of flight and expulsion since 1948. <laughs> 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 I have two children, Elias and uh, Rayan. In my life, I think I miss a lot of things. Uh, and also I have good things, thank God. But I will try my best to take care of my children and to try to get them to have a good future and good future than our life in the past. My son, he was just five months. The Israelis came to the camp. They shoot train gas to our home direct to the room where we sleep, then I must to take Elias for three nights in the hospital. From that time to this time, Elias take a machine because he have asthma. <laughs> in the evening, Sama and her son Ahmed visit Bejala's green agricultural area, the Cremesian Valley. Part of the Cremesian Valley belongs to the Silesian Monastery. Since its foundation over 150 years ago, the area has been used for agriculture. Now our activity is to carry on with the uh, production of wine and uh, of olive oil. As you know very well, the best olive oil of, the Palestine, of the, this region in Palestine is Bejala olive oil, which means also Cremesian, because of the special uh, microclimate, climate, which is given by the breeze coming from the Mediterranean, 90 kilometers, and from the dry uh, air coming from the uh, desert. A large part of the valley is no longer accessible to the people of Bejala. Israeli settlements were built there. The separation wall continues to grow and threatens to cut off the monastery as well as the entire Bejala Valley. In the last uh, eight uh, years, we have been uh, fighting uh, together with the sisters and the uh, people of uh, Bejala, 55, 58 families, in order to prevent the building of the security barrier on their land and on our land. Um, claiming, and uh, with good arguments, that uh, the security of Israel is not in danger by the presence of two religious institutions, and neither by the uh, people living here and tilling their, uh, their lands. 
Unfortunately, uh, while the Supreme uh, Court uh, said that we have good reasons for that, the military, uh, the Israeli military top, uh, said no, for security reasons, we will go on uh, building the wall, trying to modify a little bit in order not to make, to cause damage. But uh, we think that uh, we still are in a limbo. Work closes. Tamara's employees go home. As a modern businesswoman, she has taken care of a company-owned transport service, especially for women. Creating is the best way to move forward, not just focusing on the problem, focusing on a solution of things. Never just run away from a struggle, because struggles will go everywhere, wherever you go. It is shortly after half past seven. For Kada, it is time to relax before his journey continues into the evening. While the muezzin calls for the evening prayer, Mohammed builds the water pipe for the new kitchen he wants to install for his wife. At Salah's house, dinner is served. Rania talks about her plans. In order to have better chances for the future, their children should study abroad and learn foreign languages. <laughs> Anni, <laughs> 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 احنا في الوقت الحالي ضالين عنا هنا في البلاد لنشوف الوضع كيف بصير إذا صار في حلول سلام وشوفنا الحياة صارت أفضل من ضل هنا بس إذا صار الوضع يعني صار أسوأ من هيك نفكر نروح عند بقية أهل عتشيلي يعني نهاجر أعرفش أنا أنا بالنسبة لي بلاكي هنا أحلى بس بالنسبة للشباب لازم يطلعوا يجربوا ناس تانيين ثقافة تانية يدرسوا يشوفوا الحياة تانية وبعدين يقرروا إذا بدهم يضلوا هنا أو بدهم يطلعوا لبرا بس بالنسبة لنا يعني حلو إنه نضلنا هنا. The day comes to an end in Bejala, and with the twilight, rest enters into the city.
Chinois.